全师们 ，B to B 赚了这么一点点，你就以为牛市回来了吗？<笑>哥们，你就是 too young, too simple, sometimes naive. In this video, I will explain to you why I believe the bull market has not returned, but at the same time, I will explain to you why I believe the worst of the bear market is. Over. <laughs> okay, that's enough silliness, Gumman. Let's get straight in to the content. Now you can probably see that I'm very happy. I'm very cheerful today, and that is because I made a nice amount of money on this move upwards. And Gongshini Gumman, if you also made money on this move upwards here, as you can see, one month ago I made a bullish video. Predicting that the bottom might be in, Dibu Ijing Guochula, and that looks like it might be correct. So now, the market is just a bull market. But the question is, Gumman, what happens next? Is this the time to buy altcoins to gamble on all sorts of altcoins, or not? Well, before we talk about altcoins, Gumman. I want to explain exactly what I think happened in this move up. So this chart is Bitcoin in the red and green candles, and the blue line is the S and P 500. And we can see that here in early November, FTX collapsed and Bitcoin fell almost from top to bottom, almost 27 percent after the FTX collapse. But recently, Bitcoin has almost gone back up to where we were before FTX collapsed. Okay, up thirty percent from the bottom, and this is basically in line with where we were trading before the FTX collapse. So the way I see it, Gumman, is that we are back to normal. Some people say that this is very bullish because it's decorrelated from the stock market. Bitcoin has gone up thirty percent. And the stock market hasn't moved. Wow, so bullish for Bitcoin. I don't agree with that. I think Bitcoin and crypto is still very correlated with the stock market. It's just that we are retracing this move down. So now we're back in line with the stock market, and we're back to normal. Now a lot of the coins held on FTX are now locked up for years because they have bankruptcy court cases, and that will take years to sort out. So meanwhile, FTX has millions of dollars worth—、um, no, sorry, billions of dollars worth of Ethereum, Solana, all sorts of coins—but they cannot be sold. They are frozen, and this is actually very bullish. They can't be sold.、And、that's why I personally know some traders who are buying or trading the Sam coins. I refer to them as the scam coins. I actually made a video on Sam's scam coins. This video here. I made this video before FTX collapsed, okay, and I was calling out、uh, Sam for making pump and dump scam coins, and I was right. They are complete low float garbage coins. But right now, all of his scam coins, like Serum, SRM, Maps, Oxy, and some more, they're all locked in the bankruptcy court case. They can't be sold. They're frozen. So that's locked supply. So that's actually bullish. So it's an interesting trade,、uh, but it's not one that I'm taking. But the most important reason crypto is going up is the continued trend of falling inflation. Gurman, I mentioned this in my previous video. CPI is falling, and this month it's fallen to six point five percent, and the trend is clearly down. And that means the Fed. Can't keep raising rates, and that also means the dollar is falling. Here is the、uh, DXY, which measures the strength of the dollar, and as we can see, the dollar peaked in late last year, and now the dollar, oh my goodness, is down minus eleven percent. And the reason the dollar continues to fall is because inflation and inflation expectations. Also, continue to fall, which means the Fed will have to stop, stop raising rates, which is great, which is bullish for crypto and all risk assets, because when the Fed raises rates and they tighten money supply, they tighten monetary policy, like last year, all crypto and risk assets fall. It's very bearish. 
So last year, you could have shorted and made money. But my prediction is this year, because the Fed will stop raising rates very soon. So this means that the worst pain is behind us. So this year, the bear market is over, but the bull market won't come back, German, until the Fed cut rates, Jiangxi, and or print new money, Yin Chen. Okay, they need to do these two things for us to have a bull market. And the expectation is they won't do those two things this year. They don't want to. Now, how can we be so sure that inflation will keep falling? Well, gentlemen, this is very interesting. Check this out. There's the Chinese for you. Basically, this means that the Fed is changing their methodology on how they measure inflation. They're going to make the number go down. <laughs> Biden and the Fed, they have the same mission. And so they will just change the methodology to force the inflation number to go down. But the truth doesn't matter because as long as the inflation number comes down, the Fed will stop tightening. And that's good for our crypto bags. What will price do this year? The echo bubble. Gurman, in my last video, I looked at 2019 as a reference point, as a model for what will happen in 2023. Because there are a lot of similarities. Both are a year after the bear market and a year before the halvening for Bitcoin. So this is Bitcoin's chart. And as we can see late in 2018, we had a big crash, just like we had in Bitcoin in 2022 last year. And then Bitcoin rose 300%. Now this was the echo bubble. What's your echo bubble, Nagerman? Why are you guo? It's just a smaller power more, okay? In the Niu Shi, you have a big bubble. And then when the Niu Shi is over, when it pops, Bao Jia Le Zhi Ho, Niu Shi Le Pao And this is normal in markets. Big bubbles are followed by smaller bubbles. And that is what I believe is actually happening right now. In 2019, the echo bubble was Bitcoin running off from the lows 341%. So if the ratio holds, Bitcoin could run 75% from the lows, which would be $27,000. If BTC would be 0 .085, uh, which would have, which would, which would mean Ethereum would be $2,300. This guy is Avi Fellman. He's a good trader. You should follow him on Twitter. Also follow me, Gurman. I'm also a Du Shen. Uh, on Twitter, Hauge Li Ba. So let's take that prediction of $27,000 and let's see the percentage increase from here. So it would be 30%. That's only a 30% rise from here. <sighs> boring, boring. And most of the traders uh, from 2019 lost money, okay? So it wasn't an easy year to trade. It was very difficult. So if you're trading Bitcoin, you're fighting for a 30% gain from here. It is not the best. It's not very promising. The range in Bit for Bitcoin this year is around this box. So it's from 30K to 15, 16K. And if that is this year's range, then where we are right now at 21K, well, that is approaching the middle of the range right now. OK, uh, based on the 2019 model, this is my expectation for this year. So the top is around 30K, maybe 27, and the bottom is 15. And if we look at ETH, Gaofeng, Shi, Sanchen, and the DDN is around $1,000. 1K to 3K. I'm more bullish on Ethereum than I am Bitcoin. I believe Ethereum will eventually flip and overtake Bitcoin. So I think it could gain some ground on Bitcoin this year, but nothing crazy, nothing crazy. So I actually, I don't hold any Bitcoin government. I just hold Ethereum at the moment. Um, there we go. Boom. So 
right now we're, we're middle of the range for Ethereum as well, according to the 2019 model. So even if we believe Ethereum will go to $3,000 this year, which is very, very optimistic, that's an 85% return from, from the price today, which is not bad, nearly a 2X. That's not bad, that's pretty good. Still, Taishi Iga 2X, what a chew. What a tien. It's amateur Jananren Gurman. We want 10Xs. We want more. So we might have to gamble on altcoins. D Sanger rotation. Gurman, check out this picture here. This represents what normally happens after a pump in crypto. Bitcoin goes up first. And then the large caps go up second. So Ethereum, Solana, BNB. And then the money flows down to smaller coins, mid caps and then small caps. OK, so on the recent run up, we saw Bitcoin outperforming most things and then the money filtered through. As we can see here, Solana is up huge, actually, uh, from the bottom. Solana was eight dollars at the bottom. It's now 20 uh, it's now $22. And this is why people want to buy altcoins, because the percentage gains are bigger. You make more money. People like me who have just made gains, 30% gains in ETH or Bitcoin, we also want to make more money. So we will chase smaller coins. And people who haven't bought crypto yet, they're on the sidelines watching the numbers go up. They're feeling FOMO. They also want to catch up. And they don't want to buy Bitcoin or Ethereum because they're too big. They've already pumped. They'll look for the smaller altcoins to buy. So if you're looking to buy altcoins, Gurman, the question is, which altcoin do you buy? Well, Gurman, it's very difficult. I'm not playing this game right now because right now the liquidity is lower. There's not that many retail traders, Roger men. There's not that many Roger Joltai men. So... It's difficult to guess and predict which coin will go up. But if you want to play that game, I have some advice for you, gentlemen. Check out this tweet here, Gurman. Think about incentives. Some projects have huge outstanding floats in the future that can be hedged. And it's cheaper to get market makers to scam pump and have traders think it's a narrative that they should join and then distribute, which means sell and then sell. But basically what this is saying, this is also a great trader, by the way, this is GCR, this account. Uh, GCR is a very popular, famous crypto trader. Uh, you should definitely follow him. This tweet is basically saying that you want to look for altcoins with a low float and upcoming unlocks. And these projects, they've been waiting for a better market to push out news to pump the price. And they are also prepared to scam pump, which basically means they will um, pay their market makers. They'll pay money to pump the price to make you believe that, oh, this is the future. Oh, this is going up. The chart looks good. I will buy. And then they dump. How do they dump? They short the coin on a centralized exchange. OK, and they lock in their gains because their coins are locked up right now. So they short the contract. They lock in their profit. So. Which coins meet this criteria? Well, this is a good response to this tweet. Aptos. Aptos is a coin that launched in the bear market and they haven't released any big updates yet. Presumably they're saving their updates for, for a better market like now. And they're also listed on exchanges so they can short their own perpetual. And they have lots of predatory VC investors that want to lock in their profits, okay? Aptos was like the next Solana. I believe Sam, S SBF, and Alameda were pumping out, were pushing Aptos. This is the kind of coin that will do a scam pump. So if you want to play this game, Gurman, the idea is to buy Aptos before they release their news and before they do their scam pump, before they pump their coin, and then sell on the green candle as it's going up. It's a very risky game to play because you need to be quick because they, they will dump. They will dump on your face, Gurman. So be careful. If you want to play this game, be careful. And this is Aptos. You can see it's already pumped back to where it was late last year when it launched around $8. You can expect the team to push this higher because remember, Gurman, the team are incentivized to lock in their profit when times are good. 
不能怪他们，他们不是坏人，他们也是要吃饭的。They have a big team of developers and people they need to pay. So when times are good, like now, they need to lock in their profit, pump the price, short their coin on an exchange, lock in their profit. Now, if you feel a bit dirty about trading scam pumps, I don't blame you, Gumman, because it's a bit dirty, isn't it? These these dirty VCs scam pumping their coins. I don't really want to play that game. You know, I don't need to play that game. So, if you want to do something a little, a little bit more cleaner, then you can try something like Shib. And we can see with Shib from the bottom, it's up or it's gone up only thirty five percent. So, Shib has not pumped much. It's only followed Bitcoin and Ethereum. So that's interesting. Obviously, Shib is very big. It's five billion market cap. The reason I'm talking about Shib is because Shibarium. It's their layer two. Um, they've been delaying it for years, and presumably they're delaying it, waiting for a better market. Many people that follow Shib will be very excited. Because many people have been waiting for a better market. Many people that follow Shib will be very excited. Because many people have been waiting for a better market. Many people that follow Shib will be very excited. Because many people that follow Shib will be very excited. Because many people that follow Shib will be very excited. Because many people that follow Shib will be very excited. YouTubers, Shiba Inu. Wow! Oh, two hours ago, one day ago, eight days ago, there is a lot of hype already. Look at these! Look at these Joltai men.、Um, they're so these YouTubers are not are not Joltai, but their followers are Joltai. So they have a good marketing, a good community. So you can expect when they have hype behind their new product, Shivarium. I mean, it's the product will be garbage. Obviously, we it's nonsense, but. It will pump the price, so it could be a nice short-term trade. Sai ge ni gaji chao gumam jaga wang jan coinglass dot com slash funding rate. If you are trading, longing, or shorting altcoins, this website will tell you the current funding rate on that coin. So right now, you see most funding rates are positive, which means most people are trying to long. Most people are longing these altcoins. They're positive, but they're not that high. It's okay. It's not too bad. When they get to zero point one percent or zero point two percent, zero point three percent, that's when you know it's a crowded trade. There are already lots of traders longing that coin with leverage on centralized exchanges, and that's risky because that means that they can get liquidated when the price goes down. And then that will cause the price to go down even more, and so that means you could get liquidated if you're using leverage.、And、this tweet is useful, Gumman. What happens is the price goes up like it just did, and then there's a delay, a yenshu, between the price going up and people coming back. People coming back, jiao tai men hui lai mai bi. There's a delay. It could be weeks, could even be months. Okay, so. 不要太焦急了啊！不要太焦急了。This can take time because if you think about it, your friends that don't own any crypto now, they're just hearing. Maybe they watch this video. They're just hearing. Oh, crypto went up again. Hmm. Maybe I should buy. And then maybe a few weeks later, they eventually buy some coins. And that is when I want to be in the market. I want to be in the market when the Shin Jol Tai men. Are in the market, okay? When retail investors are in the market, because that's when it's easy. That's when it's easy because salmon beat him and gun tongming, sure, sure. 说实话，现在我没有任何的 old coins. What I'm looking for, really, Gumman, is I'm looking for an old coin like Chainlink. 你知道 Chainlink 吗 ？Chainlink 特别厉害 Yes. So let's have a look. So at the start of 2019. Chainlink came about, and it went all the way up. Whoa, woohoo! Went up nine hundred percent in a Shangshu, or in a market that wasn't a bull market. Incredible! And what Chainlink had was it had a unique community of lonely single men on 4chan and Reddit who called themselves the Link Marines, and they had a strong culture. And that's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for a cult, a tribe. Of men, Nanren, who just love a coin. So I was just like, "Just share a chain link." I don't care if it has a use case, Shishima. I don't care what it does or anything like that. It's all a meme. I just want a strong community of people that love the coin. That's what I'm looking for. I want to invest in something like that. But right now, Gumman, 
I don't see anything like that. Rugo Nio Tui Jen Dua Nikai Zai Discord Gausu Wa. I just made a Discord Gaman Kan Kan Mayo Renha Ren Zai Li Mian Jio Wa. It's just a place where we can Liao Isha Liao Isha Bi Liao Isha Shichang Ting Hao Da. So the link is below. Wan Chen Mian Fei. If you are interested in crypto and you're a trader, Jia Rui Sha Ba Huan Ying.